Welcome to a quick tour of a really excellent presentation by the American Parkinson Disease Association and the Pacific Neuroscience Institute. The slide presentation is called Treating Parkinson's Disease with Lifestyle Choices. Dr. Petrosian and Giselle Tamula talk about the key lifestyle elements for treating Parkinson's disease. They include sleep, handling stress, interaction with others, exercise, learning new things, and diet, all which will be covered in more depth. The acronym SHIELD is a very handy mnemonic, but before we get into the individual components, let's look at what they have to say about choice. I don't have any choice whether or not I have Parkinson's, but surrounding that non-choice is a million other choices I can make. Michael Fox Let's start with the first of the lifestyle recommendations on sleep. Sleep is so important, especially for those with Parkinson's disease. It improves health and well-being, it reduces stress, reduces the risk of heart disease, improves your memory and mood, replenishes uh, neurotransmitters such as dopamine, and clears out toxic buildup of the brain. We all know that sleep is important, but yet people still suffer from insomnia and REM sleep behavior disorder. Now those are covered in much greater depth in the in full one hour presentation. Sleep planning and preparation are so important and you'll find some very, very helpful tips in the full presentation. Note the link to that full presentation will be in the YouTube description below this. The second main element in the SHIELD process is H for handle stress. Learning how to handle stress is critical to our well-being long-term and short-term. Let's find out a little bit more about it. If we want to combat stress, we need to develop resilience, the capacity to recover or adjust from difficulties. One of the key mnemonics I got a kick out of was the three P's of hardship, personalization, pervasiveness, and permanence. One of the most substantial ways we have to handle stress is through restorative activities such as meditation and mindfulness. That is the awareness that arises by paying attention in a particular way, on purpose, in the moment, and non-judgmentally. The next key element in the SHIELD process is how to interact with others because social isolation and loneliness can increase the risk of everything that's bad that you can think about. Not only do we have to interact with others, but we have to learn to exercise too. My neurologist has told me that if there were one thing I could do to slow the progression of Parkinson's, it would be to exercise. Cardiovascular exercise is the most critical and commonly understood part of this. In addition to cardiovascular exercise, there's also resistance training. That's strength exercises. These are just as important as the cardiovascular. Then finally, neuromotor training, a fancy term for doing things like dance, tai chi, pilates, boxing, etc. Let's remember that the exercise you do benefits the brain very directly, especially through blood flow. Take a look at this cool picture. Just as important as anything else is the ability to learn new things. Learning new things develops brain health, and a healthy brain means better response to your Parkinson's. Here are some examples of healthy brain stimulation. Taking a class, learning to use a new technology, gardening, 
trying new food or recipe, all kinds of things. Let your imagination be your guide. Diet is something over which we have tremendous control. In this particular case, diet can be fun. It's a control that you have and a choice that you make. That brings us to the end of our Quick Notes presentation. If you find that this is something you want to know more about, check out the description below this YouTube video and you'll see the link to the original presentation. This has been a presentation of the Parkinson Network of Mount Diablo, trying to educate those with Parkinson's and those that are related to them. Thank you very much.